antecedent test is or cryptarchidism when the test is is not palpable in the scrotum what are the causes here this is inguinal canal deep inguinal ring this is superficial inguinal ring the first cause is undescended testis here testis is located along the path of its descent second cause is ectopic testis here testis is located away from the path of its descent after coming out of superficial inguinal ring so what are the locations of ectopic testis first one is superficial inguinal pouch perineal prepenile femoral canal and opposite scrotum third cause is absent testis it can be true unilateral agenesis or atrophic testis also known as vanishing testis fourth one is retractile testis here testis is in the scrotum but goes up intermittently due to hyperreflexic cremaster this is important for two reasons one is that when brought down retractile testis should remain comfortably in the scrotum if it goes up immediately then gliding testis which is a form of undescended testis should be ruled out another reason is that one third of retractile testis can later become ascending testis so fifth cause is ascending testis here testis is in the scrotum but ascends up later to low inguinal position between 4 to 10 years of age and remain there so whenever there is bilateral testis not palpable or unilateral non palpable testis with hypospadias evaluate for disorder of sexual differentiation what is the normal descent in tried train life by 3 months of age testis is anchored at the internal inguinal ring and this is peritoneal cavity and the evagination is processes vaginalis on which testis glides in the inguinal canal this is inguinal canal and the gubernaculum testis distends the inguinal canal and guides the testis into the scrotum then by 7 to 8 months of intrauterine life testis begins its descent and is now it is in the inguinal canal at the time of birth testis has descended into the scrotum and the upper part of processus vaginalis has obliterated and the distal part becomes tunica vaginalis because testis begins its descent by 7 to 8 months of intrauterine life incidence is more common in preterm babies about 30% and only 3% in term babies after birth by 2 months of age there is testosterone surge this causes some amount of descent so descent is possible till 4 months of age but not after that so let us see the locations of and descended testis inguinal canal there are four locations first one is abdominal second one is peeping that is it is in the abdomen but intermittently peeps into the inguinal canal third one is inguinal fourth one is gliding also known as high scrotal so why the testis should descend into the scrotum because scrotum is cooler than body temperature and cooler temperature is needed for sperm synthesis so pathological changes begin to appear by 6 to 12 months of age in undescended testis 
which can later cause infertility or subfertility. Second complication is malignancy, cause is not known. Third one is because antecedent testis is mobile compared to the testis in the scrotum, there is increased incidence of torsion. And the process of vaginalis is not obliterated in antecedent testis. So, indirect inguinal hernia can occur. Whenever there is pain and swelling in a child with undescended testis, torsion and indirect inguinal hernia are to be considered. So, how to diagnose? Mainly by clinical examination. First of all, lubricate the hands with soap. And then keep one hand over anterior superior iliac spine and other hand in the base of the scrotum giving some traction and then with the first hand sweep down the inguinal canal with that we can diagnose undescended testis retractile and ascending testis if still not palpable then examine the ectopic sites for ectopic testis. As we have already seen, ectopic sites include superficial inguinal, prepenile, femoral, perineal, and opposite scrotum. even not still not palpable it could be abdominal or atrophic testis because clinical examination cannot detect abdominal or atrophic testis and though ultrasound is routinely done even ultrasound cannot detect abdominal or atrophic testis so what is the role of ultrasound it's mainly recommended for obese boys where clinical examination is difficult. So then how to diagnose abdominal atrophic testis? This is by diagnostic laparoscopy and then depending on the findings orchidopexy or archaeotomy that is removal of testis and then treatment for undescended testis it is archidopexy. Here, testis is mobilized and positioned in the scrotum. And because descent is not possible after four months of age, it's usually done between six to twelve months of age. And for ectopic testis, also treatment is archidopexy. But here, we need not wait for descent. It's not possible. So it is usually done between 3 to 6 months of age. And for ascending test is also archidopexy. For retractile test is, it's mainly follow up once in 6 months to 1 year. 